Yes, 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 you got brands talking. Brandlive.co.za. Good afternoon and welcome to Love and Relationship on Brand Live Radio Station. This is an exciting show that speaks about matters of the heart. So relax and enjoy the show. Um, today I will be talking about how to find true love. And I'm here in the studio with my true love. Um, her name is Emilia <laughs> Ndun. Um, Emilia, say hi. Hi, thank you for having me. Yeah, today I really want to, you know, start by a question which someone asked me during one of our events. Someone once asked me, what does true love look like? And um, my answer was that true love looks like something that can satisfy. Because you, if you say you have true love and you're still looking for some other person, it means that love is not true. You're not satisfied. So the way I could describe true love was something that satisfies you, something that you want more of it, something that, you know, keeps you going. That is true love. But today I will start by asking what really is love in a relationship? Is it the sexual feelings one has towards someone or is it an attraction that one has towards someone or is it a feeling of gratitude one may have? towards someone who benefits him or her? Or is it a feeling of dependency one has towards someone that is available to care for him or her? Or is it a satisfaction one has through knowing and understanding someone's character that fits into his or her life? I believe love is more of a satisfaction than a feeling. And the beginning of love in a relationship should be when you know the character of someone that seems to fit into your life. Character is the main thing that can satisfy for a lifetime. Every other thing can fade with time. Things like good physical looks and material gains may not last for a lifetime. A wise man once said that in Proverbs 31, 30, he said, Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord shall be praised. So I believe that favor speaks about the possessions of a person, which includes wealth and riches. And beauty speaks about the good physical looks of a person. But, you know, the Bible says that neither of them is sufficient to build a good relationship except the fear of God. And as we all know, the fear of God makes up the good character of a person. Whoever truly fears God in one place will always fear him wherever the person is. So this validates the fact that the choices made on a good character will always outlast choices made based on emotional feelings. So a true and lasting love relationship is based on compatibility. And compatibility, to me, is the beginning of a lasting relationship. You cannot find love unless you find the right person who is compatible with you. Anybody who does not believe in love has never found the right person who is compatible with him or her. Because I believe love is real. Love in a relationship is a choice, especially when the relationship will lead to marriage. You cannot choose to marry someone mainly because a person is beautiful or handsome without considering their character. Because that will be like buying a product from the shop just because of the good packaging of the product without considering the content. Example, you know, of a physical attraction relationship I, I have is, uh, is the story of uh, Samson and Delilah, which I found in the Bible. You know, it speaks about the love that Samson had for Delilah which I believe was majorly based on physical attraction. So my story today is that true love is based on compatibility. It's based on character compatibility. And, you know, someone asked me the other time and said, so do you mean we have to like the same things? We have to, you know, be compatible in everywhere? I said, no. I believe that there are fundamental things that one has to be compatible with. You know, one of them is you have to be compatible with the lifestyle of the person. You have to be compatible with the spiritual aspects, you know, of the person, the spiritual beliefs of the person. And, you know, you also have to be compatible with the vision of the person, the future of the person, where the person is going. Because the career and whatever the person wants to become is very important. So I believe that, you know, trying to relate with someone without character compatibility can be likened to buying a beautiful shoe you love, which is not your size. And, you know, in the case of a shoe, you may 
return it back to Woolworth or wherever you bought it and you get a refund. But you know, if you are, if you've been married to the person, you cannot refund the person for a refund. So this is a very crucial matter. And I, I, I believe that it is something that is going to impact a lot of people out there. And uh, we are open to your questions and, um, you know, calling in to ask us questions on this matter. So this is character compatibility is the main quality to look out for in someone you would love to spend your life with. Because um, this is very important. You know, character does not change easily. But you see, the beauty you go after and the things you stand to gain, they can change. The economy is changing. And then, you know, I mean, things happen to people's looks. And then what are you going to do? And uh, I always believe that if someone really goes after someone because of their looks, then the person is bound to find a better look some other time to replace the, the current yes, look, look, you know, he or she has. So um, we'll be going on a, a short break, and then when we come back, um, we're going to have a discussion with my guest here, um, Emilia Ndun. Emilia is a singer. She's a gospel artist. And, um, you know, she's also a, a woman that can share her experience and love and relationship. Thank you. In your face, all over the place. We're online 24-7, 24-7. You're listening to the hottest internet station. Grand Live. No doubt. <laughs> You're listening to brandlive.co.za. Have you ever thought about the power of social media? Social media has the power to make your business grow. Grow! Why don't you let us manage your social media? Because our business is to see your business grow. Visit us at www.beastownmedia.co.za. You're listening to brandlive.co.za. Welcome back to Love and Relationship. My name is Ndun and I'm here with Emilia who happens to be my true love. And um, today we want to be very practical. Um, I think they say charity begins at home. So I decided to come with my wife to <laughs> let's share our own experience and um, how we found our true love. So I can start with myself um, to say, how did I find my true love? Uh, I remember some years ago, um, I think about 2002, um, well, just by the way, we've been married for about 13 years now. And um, I, I think this love is real. And uh, I've, I've experienced it. it. It makes me feel good all the time. So um, I met Amelia through a friend who introduced her to me um, sometime, you know, about 2002 or so. Um, well, it was in the night, so I, I did not really see the beauty she she radiates. Are you sure? You know. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, you know, um, but I saw something that captivated me. It was um, a, a character of respect she had. In fact, she greeted me in a way that, you know, I thought she was uh, a lady from another country that, you know, was flown in there. I didn't know she stays in the neighborhood. I did not think she's from the neighborhood. You know, um, it's her character that captivated me. I can say that. I know when I go to visit some friends and they look at her and she looks very pretty and beautiful they say to me are you sure it's really the character or something else i say to them listen guys i met her in the night at least i didn't see her face well um but and this even happened that even the next day when i saw her i could not recognize her because i did not see her face properly so um the truth is that i saw something in her that captivated me it was um a, a respect she had for people you know, and the way she treated other people. So I, I said, no, I think this is um, a woman that I will like to relate with. So we started the relationship and um, I found out that, no, this is the best person for me. And I believe that I could make that decision based on, you know, what I saw, the character I saw. So that's when I came to a point where I believe that character compatibility is very important so but i will allow her to tell us a little bit of how she was sure that i'm the true love except <laughs> she still has another person you know on ground 
So, uh, Amelia, what can you say? Well, I would say that in the beginning, I mean, when in my early teenage years, um, I did not really think love exists without money. I thought money makes lives, I mean, makes complete love. So I've tried uh, looking for money, but I did not find satisfaction. So when I met you and I met my husband, um, I don't know, people say there is love at first sight, though I don't really believe in love at first sight, but there was connection at first sight. Okay. When <laughs> okay, that's good to hear. <laughs> to enjoy that. <laughs> so there was connection at first sight. And in fact, to be precise, the next day, I mean, after the friend introduced me to him and said, this is so, 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 this is his house, he stays here. The next day when I pass by, we met at night when I passed the same road. I actually looked at the house to see if he is there so I could check him out. If, you know, mm. if it's, uh, you know, it's a good if he has material. The money, if he has the <laughs> no, money. not really money. Okay. At that point, <laughs> it was just to see how it, he looks like, who he really is, and see if I could get to know him. But um, when I got to know him, I discovered that what I really was looking for in a man was not um, just the look. Yes, I was also particular about a good-looking guy, though, I mean, he has all the qualities. Mm, um, but, I got, <laughs> <laughs> but I got to know that um, love was more than the looks. Mm. It was more than the money. It was... It was, it, it, it's a complete package that balance, um, character, that balance satisfaction, that balance, that feeling that just make you, it's not really the butterfly. I think it's, it's a completion of the character and the way the person makes you feel. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been where there was money, but to be honest with you, I was treated like, hey, I mean, I don't exist. I mean, he was a provider. What could you say? So, but I, 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 felt at home when when I met my husband. Okay, and but that was not your you were not married then. This is your first marriage. So the viewer the, the <laughs> listeners does <laughs> do not say, think that, that. <laughs> do not think that, that was your first marriage. No, no, no. I was not I was not married. It was She's just not, a relationship. Okay. Uh Hoping to get married, it was, it was just okay. a relationship okay. that I thought there was a future, but mm. I discovered that it was not, I mean, not all that glitter mm. they say is gold. So when I eventually decided, when my husband proposed and I decided to go ahead with it, I mean, I've never looked back. It's been 13 years and I mean, it still feels like we're just starting. So really true love. Uh, really I think exists. it does exist, mm -hmm. but you should look beyond money, look beyond the physical appearances because really those things fade away. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, women will say he's cute mm -hmm. and guys mm -hmm. will say, who oh, is God? I mean, yellow bone, he's got the curves in all the right places. Mm -hmm. But really, mm -hmm. if a woman is mm -hmm. as beautiful as an, uh, is it a dove eye, they say, or eagle, one of those eyes that is beautiful. Mm -hmm. If a woman is as beautiful as that and you cannot stay in the same house i mean she does not have a good character i promise you you will not even see the beauty mm -hmm. that is why some men stay late night with friends hang out at the bar till morning because there is always fire on the mountain i mean if you cannot have peace at home where are you going to have the mm -hmm. peace mm -hmm. i really think you know one of the main questions we ask people is this what are you looking for in a man if, if you're a lady who's looking to have a relationship with a man someone you want to marry what really are you looking for because you see a lot of people do not know what they're looking for they, they're simply looking for what other people say it's needed you know it's what you should look for these days the, the media the tv the movies have you discipled a lot of people and make them look for the wrong things. Six pack. Yeah. So you see, but <laughs> six pack is not going to give you the love that y you need. So we, we saying to our listeners out there, know what you're looking for. Know what you're looking for. If you're a man, ask yourself, what am I really looking for in a woman? What can satisfy me? And that's what we are saying that the way you are being treated is what satisfies you. And the way you're being treated comes from the character of the person. It comes from how the person you know, views life or, you know, carries his or herself. 
So we want to be treated well. Not to, not to cut you in, mm. I think the challenge here is that people do not know what they are looking for, mm. like you have said. Mm. I mean, some guys will say, I'm looking for African queen. I mean, I'm looking for a beautiful mm. lady that I can show off to my friend. I mean, that I walk into a place and they go like, wow, your mm. wife mm. is, mm. you know. And uh, ladies will say, well, I have suffered enough in my life. I'm not hoping to get married and continue the mm. suffering. So they will look for a guy that has already, mm. I mean, have enough that is established, you know, hoping that their needs will be met. Some will say, you know what, I'm into media, I'm in this department, so I'm looking for a good looking guy that can represent me well, that speaks well. Well, all mm. those things are necessary. Mm. But I think until people come to a place where they know what they are looking for. Even mm. if it's right in front of you, you will not be able to mm. find and, it. And not just what you're looking for. What you're looking for that can satisfy you. True. You. Because True. you see, to be satisfied is one thing. I say to people, um, to when you look at a, a beautiful woman, it's like smelling the aroma of a food from a distance. You know, you say, wow, this food is going to taste nice. And then, you know, there's some food that when you smell the aroma, uh, when you eat it, you want to vomit. <laughs> Uh, because you see it, it doesn't taste like it doesn't smells taste before. as the smell so yes. so what really satisfy you is eating the food which in this case eating the food is like relating with the person mm -hmm. you know i mean being able to stay in harmony with the person so you must find someone who can give you that satisfaction listeners we want to go on a short break we'll be back just stay right there on brand live radio Brandlive.co.za Making a bold statement yet blending into the surrounding suburbs of Melville, 27 Boxes is a realization of edgy design and practical implementation. A radical departure from the shopping malls of our generation, yet not a return to the high streets of our youth. 27 Boxes showcases the best of a shopping center set in a garden surrounded by the bohemian suburb that is Mulville. 27 boxes shop play eat <laughs> the dramatic talk with myself from Gunny drama bringing you insightful conversations on the convo corner your latest celebrity news on drama payment and your latest fashion news on fashion fame this is bongari 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 and myself rose Rata. Bringing you your latest news and sports updates. Every Wednesdays, 2 to 3 p.m. Only on www.brandlive.co.za You're listening to brandlive.co.za Hello, welcome back to Love and Relationship at Brand Live Radio Station. Um, I've been talking to uh, Amelia Ndone, my guest. My name is Ndone. We are speaking about matters of the heart things that pertain to love and relationship. Um, before we went for break, we were trying to talk about how we found our true love. And um, in a few minutes, we want to look at some of the frequently asked questions. Myself and Emilia, we host events, you know, in the country. We've been to Pretoria, Cape Town, Durban, holding a love and relationship event. We do it once a month. If you want to find out details, you can go on our website, www living as one events that come there you can come through ask your questions and we will answer and you can also reach us for questions you can send emails to living as one events at gmail.com or you can send them to me at akandon at yahoo.com aka double n d o n at yahoo.com you can also reach me for questions on whatsapp on zero seven eight Two double five four five one seven. So today we want to look at a few of the frequently asked questions, like a question which um, someone asked, "What is love with compatibility?" And uh, you know, sometimes you know, I try to illustrate things on a, a practical base. So I, I will say, love with compatibility is like finding a beautiful shoe you love, which is your size. And love without compatibility is like finding a beautiful shoe you love and it is not your size. And if you forcefully wear it, it will definitely affect your feet and your movement. So, you know, it's one thing to find a beautiful thing you beautiful love. Shoe. And uh, another thing is, is it your size? 
Because like in the case of a shoe, if it's not your size, how do you wear it? I, I see these ladies with the long heels and, you know. Uh, I think women and, can uh, relate well to that. Yeah. And then, you know, and you say your shoe is beautiful. She said, please, do you have a seat there? <laughs> because I'm, 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 this I'm thing dying. is killing my, my feet here. So, you know, I've, I've heard people, uh, a story where a man walked with his wife to some occasion and they went in there and the people say, wow, such a beautiful wife. He said, <clears> hmm. <throat> He said, yeah, yeah, I see, management wife, I see. Uh, he wasn't happy because uh, the wife is not treating him well. So it doesn't matter how beautiful a thing is. If it doesn't fit into your life, it can cause trouble in your life. I think you can relate to that, Amelia. Very true, very true. I mean, that shoe example that you just uh, used makes a lot of sense because women that wear high heels can relate to that. I mean, the shoe is beautiful, but it's painful as well you know mm. so it is one thing to be in a relationship but another thing is to be happy i mean are you happy but you see the thing is because people's um 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 are not real to what they are really looking for they put their want before their need mm. so it's challenging for them to know what they truly want. I mean, for example, if I'm looking for someone that can support me financially, it's easy for me to say that the guy that has money that I am with is the right person for me when the person is not because, I mean, it's friends with benefits. I mean, that's what happened these days, friends mm -hmm. with benefits. Mm -hmm. So, but it's very mm -hmm. important to know that mm -hmm. Satisfaction truly comes from the inner being, is, is beyond yes, the yes. outside, is beyond what mm. you see. I mean, the person that you will be interacting with every mm. single day yes. is the inner person, is the person that is on the inside, mm. not really the look of a person. Mm. So it's important to look at what or look for what will satisfy. Mm. And you see a, a lot of people say, I will change the person. Oh, to, true. To, women to women into, do that a lot. Uh, right? I don't know if you buy a, a shoe that doesn't fit you and you want to go and make it fit you. I, I think the shoe will change shape. No, I, I think you know, it's a very it's gonna look it's a challenging a, process. A little bit yes, obscure. Yes. <laughs> I mean, with, with human beings, it's even yeah. worse because you can't change people. Can't. I mean, in mm. fact, it's mm. difficult enough for God to change people, let alone another, another human, human being, trying yeah. to change. I mean, talking of character, this is what sets over time. A man is at his late 30s, early 40s, late 40s. How do you undo what they've learned for so many years? Mm. So I think it's easier to, to, to find someone that fits into your life that you don't have to change. Mm. I mean, uh, that doesn't mean there are, that there are no compromises. Mm. There are nothing that you can mm. try to, to, to get better at. But if you have to rechange the whole package of mm. a person, then there is a problem. Mm. And we said there are basic things that must be there. The basic things we said is your character and lifestyle must be compatible. If, if you're someone who, you know, um, don't like lies and then you meet this person who just enjoys telling lies. And then, I mean, along the way you have problems, you know. Or, you know, you find some other person in lifestyle. There are people who may not like clubbing at all. They don't even like or it. Or who and don't meet, smoke. And they meet this person who likes clubbing. Um, smoking, yeah, some people say they can tolerate. Okay, okay. You know, but some, some lifestyle that, you know, you cannot stand it. You can, you are not compatible with the person. And also, we talk about, yeah, spiritual, um, compatibility, dreams and visions, you know. So what we're saying today is that, you can find true love only if you know what you're looking for. And you can find that thing that can satisfy you. Then you can find true love. Because, you see, true love is simply that which satisfies you. And, um, you see, we will be wrapping up um, shortly. I I will love to, you know, thank everyone who's been listening. This is Brand Live Radio. You can follow it on Twitter at Brand Live Radio. Facebook at www.brandlive.co.za Skype line 011083-8606 Email info at brandlive.co.za And um, you can send in your questions, you can send in your comments and um, I believe we will always be here every Monday by 1pm. So tune in again next week, same time. I want to thank my guest, Emilia Andun, for coming. She has been a wonderful time talking <laughs> thank to you. you. For having and me. we will continue the conversation at home. You know, <laughs> at least we stay together. So please, guys, I believe you can find true love and you will find true love. Thank you for listening. 
Thank you. Brandlive.co.za Have you ever thought about the power of social media? Social media has the power to make your business grow. Grow! Why don't you let us manage your social media? Because our business is to see your business grow. Visit us at www.beastownmedia.co.za